Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to Jamro's Electronic Solutions. Uh, we have just decided to go through some of the things that you may want to know on a diagnostic machine. So in this case, I'm looking at trouble codes um, in an engine ECU, which is our PCM or power control module. So if I click on that, this is just a wee tutorial that I want to show you. Um, if I click on that, and I want to check the diagnostic code, trouble codes. Okay, so I'll go and say read fault codes, and then I'll, I'll retrieve them. I'll retrieve them here. So we have U codes. Whenever you see U before a code, you know that this is a communication code. What do I mean by that? When you see a U code, it means that either it is a canvas code or it is a limbus code. Okay, but usually can. This is communication. There's an issue with the communication system. This, when I'm saying communication, these ECUs are linked by you know a, a, a dual wire dual wires that send information faster like the high speed can would be 500 kilobytes per second so if there's a glitch or if something is wrong you'll get that you code you can get the canvas system on the body as well for the body control module for your uh, windows for your central locking systems and other things like that doors and stuff okay so in this case, I'm looking at this and I'm going, right, okay. Um, and then I come here and I say, it says U1A04 vehicle speed can signal. And then it's saying freeze frame. So this is what caught my attention, freeze frame. So what does that do for you? Does it mean anything? Let's click on it and see. Right. This is what we mean by freeze frame. Um, I know I've been getting questions from people about this one. This is what we mean by freeze frame. So for that code to happen, these are the parameter that shows you when it took place. So it says here on the accelerator pedal, it's saying the value and the percentage, it was zero, zero percent. Okay, so the engine was not being accelerated. So the, the vehicle was not moving when this code took, took place. When we come next, barometric pressure, you can see that 100 kilopascals, that is when, when it's idling. Okay you get 100 kilopascals at, at, at idle i'll prove that okay and the distance since diagnostic so this vehicle has traveled for 3148 kilometers since the logging of that cord right right so engine coolant at the time when the trouble code was recorded the engine coolant was 16 degrees that is cold guys okay this is when your your temperature sensor is showing about you know in terms of voltage it'll be say showing about 4.5 volts 4.6 thereabouts it is cold resistance is high and then it says engine load very little 26 percent okay now let's combine engine load and the engine rpm 822 that's idling speed guys so i've confirmed that the barometric uh pressure sensor when i told you that this is idling i have confirmed it here that that supports my point okay and then it tells you about fuel level here is the uh fuel rail pressure okay giving you in kilopascals uh that's 40 uh 40, 
kilopascals. This is this is what this is idling. Okay, you can convert that to bar if you want, and then intake air 13, 13 degrees manifold absolute pressure sensor. Okay, that's your map sensor. It's saying nine, 98 a kilopascals. That's just idling. Mass airflow sensor, 13.42 grams per second. So guys, if I'd deleted those codes, I would have lost all this information here. So whenever you get a code that says to you, uh, whenever you try to delete a code and then it says, are you sure by doing this you may lose freeze frame data? This is what they mean. You will lose. So now, when I come now, how does this couple with diagnosing a fault? Already to you as a technician, you don't need to drive this car to duplicate this. You just leave the engine idling. This will dupli be duplicated. Because we know that this is happening at idle. So why drive the car, take a car to Belfast and come back? You know, when, 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 when this is happening at idling. So this is valuable information. This is precious, guys. This, this is precious. It is a diagnostic tool that you can rely on. It can help you to quickly solve really difficult problems by knowing how to duplicate those problems. So there you go. I hope, I do hope, uh, that guys, you know, you are going to enjoy um, this teaching. This is just a tutorial. Um, you know, I'm appealing to you level three guys. I'm appealing to you level twos as well. This is the time to start learning about these things. You know, don't start at level three. I'm appealing to you DIY people. Did you know that when it says you delete freeze frame data, you were losing this kind of information? So keep the space keep watching the space there will be more uh, to come from Jamro's electronic solutions guys if you have got any questions uh, forgive me if I don't respond to all your questions sometimes I am that that busy guys um, it's it, time can be a problem but I do my best whenever I get a chance I come back to you uh, if you have any question here please uh, come back to me this information you you will use to find out the cause not the symptom but the cause that's what you can use to find out what is actually going wrong right I hope you'll enjoy this video please um, share the link with other people please try and support us we really really appreciate those who have been behind us for a long time and um, there's a gentleman uh, from Subaru. He's a Subaru technician. Uh, he, he put a comment on our platform. And then I responded back to him. I said, look, the young man, he was actually sort of like guiding us to say, oh, th this is what you do when you, when you have a DPF, uh, um, a di an oil dilution problem. But I think the way I answered him, I answered you and you felt like uh, maybe I took a jibe at you. No, 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 no. I apologize. I really apologize. No, I, because he came back and apologized, guys. And he was saying, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to cause any problems. I wasn't criticizing you. Don't you ever feel like you were criticizing me. The information that you gave us, my friend. I think his name is Samtex. Samtex Warrior. Um, Sam we value you and i want to you to know that we really like you on our platform show us the things if there's a glitch if there's an information that is missing we like people that will help us you know to pinpoint things i can like the information that you pointed some i actually took a video but how i lost that video i don't know so at the time of publication I realized that there was a clip that was missing then I ended up sending it anyway but it's true what you said you have to reset you know your oil you know tell the engine that you know you have got new oil and and then it can it, it can now know when to start regenerating
guys go and see his go and see his uh his comment his name is samtex please guys like that comment let's like that comment gentlemen please let's support one of our uh, members on our platform he is a knowledgeable guy he is someone that one day i would actually want to talk to maybe uh do an interview talk about subarus maybe on a live stream with him so please go and find his his, his comment let's support him Let's support Sam and uplift him because he might have thought that maybe I wasn't happy. Maybe it's the way my English maybe wasn't that good. I apologize, Sam. But look, Matt, we really, really um, like your contribution. All of you guys who have been uh, supporting us and like giving us likes, please continue to do so. Jamros always appreciates you.